Hello student, welcome to this video. This is lecture number 43, already 42 lecture are covered. To solve the supplementary problem of the book Vector Analysis by Emma's Spigel. You know this book is very important for physics honors as well as for mathematics honors and also important for IIT jam preparation. That's why we decide to solve the supplementary problem of this book. In this video, we want to solve the supplementary problem 4.5. 5.46 to 5.47 of chapter 5 which consists consist vector integration. So let's start with question 5.46 which says that suppose a vector equal to this prove that this is independent of the curve C to given point. For independent of this vector on the path the a vector will be independent independent on path if curl of a equals to 0 if curl of a is 0 then we can say that a vector is independent on the curve of path okay so now we uh, we need to find out curl of a what is the value of curl of a if this is 0 then it's okay if not 0 then it does not depend Okay, so this is I cap, this is J cap, this is K cap, del del X, del del Y, del del Z. And the coefficient of A vector I cap is 4XY minus 3X square Z square. The coefficient of Y is 2X square, coefficient of Z is 2X Q Z. Clear? So the coefficient of I cap, the del del Y of this, there is no y function so this is 0 del del z of this there is no z function this is also 0 plus j cap del del z of this this is a z function so this is 2z and this become minus 6 x square z and del del x of this if i guess respect to x this is there is 3 x square so this becomes 6 x square z and plus k cap del del s of this this is 4x and del del y of this this is also 4x so you can see this is 0 this is 0 this is 0 so this become 0 since curl of a 0 so we can say a is so the line integral this is line integral a dot dr is independent independent on the curve joining that's mean if this is a two point this is a point this is b point this uh, a dot dr this integration is independent on the path that means if this particle follow that part or this particle follow that part that doesn't doesn't matter right so this particle if follow that part this integral is the same value we if this particle follow this path okay so there is a part path independent that means it does not depend in which path this particle goes on okay next one says that so that the, there is a differentiable function phi such that a vector can be written as phi of a okay so we know we know the vector identity vector identity vector identity vector identity says curl of grad phi uh, of scalar any function must be zero here we got here we got a a curl of a vector equal to 0 if we compare these two equation we can say compare compare we can say a vector can be written as grad phi no problem then we need to find out this phi so if we compare this so grad phi can be written as i cap del phi del x plus j cap del phi del y plus k cap del phi del z del phi del z so this is a x the coefficient of x i cap plus a y j cap plus a z k cap so if we compare the coefficient of i cap j cap k cap, k cap we can say del phi del x is the a x a x is nothing but 4 x y 4 x y minus 3 x square z square so if we integrate partial integral so we get with respect to x so this is x square by 2 so this become 2 x square y 
and this is x square y three 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 cancel out so this becomes x square z square with some constant c one next del phi del y so del phi del y is two x square so if we integrate with respect to y we get this is two x square y with some other constant c two and third one is del phi del z what is the del phi del z minus two x square z so this become phi equals to z means z square by two two to cancel out minus x square z minus x square z square with another constant c three so if we take the total solution phi is nothing but two x square y minus x square z square there is no additional term and so we can say this c is a constant this is the solution of this phi the scalar function which can be represent the a vector can be represent as the grad phi this phi value is like that okay clear this question answer of this solution of this question go to the next one 5.47 says prove that this vector is a conservative force you know this will be conservative if the curl of this vector is zero so we need to find out the curl of this vector this is the answer of question a so i cap j cap k cap del del x del del y del del z coefficient of i cap is y square cos x plus z cube coefficient of y is 2y sin x minus 4 coefficient of z is 3x z square plus 2 so put i cap that into del del y of this there is no y so this become zero del del z of this there is no zero so this is zero j cap del del z of this this is 3z square and del del x of this this is 3z square so this is 3z square the square and k cap del del x of this this is the 2y cos x 2y cos x and del del y of this this is 2y so this become also 2y cos x so you can say this is this is zero this is zero so this become zero since this is zero so we can say f is a conservative force field okay force field this is the conservative force field go to the next one says find the scalar potential for f you previously you got this relations the curl of f is zero and we know the vector identity vector identity says the curl of any scalar gradient of scalar function is zero so if we compare we can say f can be written as grad phi so grad phi is nothing but um, so this is i cap fx plus j cap fy the coefficients and k cap az is nothing but i cap del phi del x plus j cap del phi del y plus k cap del phi del z so you can say del phi del x is nothing but coefficient of i cap that is the y square cos x plus z cube so phi is written as this integration of this is y square sin x plus x z cube with some constant c and del phi del y this is nothing but the second one that is 2y sin y sorry sin x minus 4 if we integrate with respect to y this will be becomes the y square by 2 this is y square sin x minus 4y and uh, with another constant this is take as c1 this is take as c2 and del phi del z will be 3x z square plus 2 simple So phi is with respect to z. This is z cube by three. So this is x z cube plus two z plus some another constant c. So in the total, the phi can be written as y square sine x plus x z cube plus this is common. This minus four y and this is common plus two z with some constant c. This is the scalar function of this. of this uh, conservative force field okay go to the next one find the work done of a moving of particle for that point to that point 
So, you know work done, work done of the force is nothing but integration f dot dr and there the f can be written as here grad phi and you all know the grad phi is nothing but d phi dr into uh, or r cap. So, dr also can be written as r cap. So, r cap r cap 1 this is nothing but d phi dr into dr dr cancel out so integration d phi this become phi right so if we put this limit that is 0 1 minus 1 and this is pi by 2 minus 1 2 clear uh, this proof is uh, grad phi equal to this grad phi is equal to d phi dr r cap this proof is already done in the previous lecture go to the <laughs> divergence scale the chapter you can see clearly the proof of this identities or the proof of this mathematics okay so here we put the value of 5 value of 5 is nothing but the y square sin x i just write down phi is y square sin z minus sorry uh, sin x sin x plus x z q minus 4y plus 2z, 4y plus 2z plus c, c is cancel out. So, if we put the upper limit, phi upper that is pi by 2, so y is minus 1 whole square 1 sin pi by 2 plus x is pi by 2 and zq is 2q minus 4 into y is minus 1 plus 2z, z is 2 plus c. So, this becomes sin pi by 2 is 1. So, this is 1, this is 4 pi, this is 4, this is 4 plus c. So, this becomes 4, 4, 8, 9, 9 plus 4 pi plus c. And the uh, lower limit, if we put the lower limit, x is 0, so this becomes 0. This x is 0, this is also 0. y is 1, so this becomes 4 z is minus 1 so this become minus 2 plus c so this is minus 6 plus c so upper limit minus lower limit so the work done the w w can be written as phi upper minus phi lower so upper is 9 plus 4 pi plus c and minus of minus 6 plus 6 minus c cancel out so this is 9 plus 6 is 15 plus 4 pi this is the work done to move this particle from that point to that point clear uh, this is all about me this is my contact details you can contact with my whatsapp number or the telegram channel regarding any physics related question and this is my youtube channel go to this channel you can see all the previous lectures which are already uploaded and subscribe to this channel if you new in this channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of upcoming video when we upload it and share this video to your friends either he or she also in a benefit by this video and take care we will meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you